My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today I will explain uh, one of the basic features which is teletransport the hero. So how to move the hero from one place to another. It can be one place uh, in the same map or in another map. So far we, we only have one map here. So I will start with a very simple example of one teletransporter that sends um, to some place on, on the same map. So how to create a teletransporter? It's quite easy. You have this add teletransporter button here. And there you have your teletransporter. Um, so all of this toolbar is actually uh, what allows you to create various type of entities in Solaris Quest Editor. Entities are anything that can have coordinates on the map. So tiles in the first place. So all of these are tiles and almost all, all of this all of these are tiles. Uh, here we have a non-playing character. Here we have a teletransporter and here we have a destination. But yeah, all of these are entities. Uh, Anyway, let's edit our teletransporter here. You can set various properties to your teletransporter. Uh, let's start by associating a sprite so that our teletransporter is visible. This is optional. You could keep your teletransporter uh, invisible, but let's, let's pick this one, for example. You can play a sound when the hero activates the teletransporter. Then you can choose the transition style. Usually it will be fade in, fade out. And then how to define the destination of your teletransporter. Uh, you have these two fields. Uh, the map, the destination map. So we said we would teletransport to the same map. And then which destination on that map? And here actually you need to select uh, a destination entity which I have not created yet so let's press OK for now and let's create a destination so teletransporters and destinations often come in pairs so you create you create a teletransporter you create a destination maybe on the same on the same map or maybe on another map so it's useful to give meaningful names to your destination. So this one is called destination 2. Uh, let's keep it that way. And we will also show a sprite, which will be this one, destination of teletransporter. And that's all. You have your teletransporter, you have your destination. And now we want to specify that this teletransporter should lead to that destination. So let's go back to editing our teletransporter and the destination. This time we can select destination 2. Um, if you want it to appear, you need to save your map first. Let's press OK. As you saw, we had the choice between two destinations. The first one was actually this one. Uh, it's the one that we created uh, in the very first tutorial. It's also a destination, even though no teletransporter leads to it. It's actually a script. It's your initial game script that, lead, that, that leads to, to this destination. But that does not really, really matter. Um, what matters is that we have two destinations and that we want this teletransporter to lead to the second destination. And we, we will see another day how to, uh, teletransporter the, to teletransport the hero using scripts. Today we will uh, simply use uh, good old teletransporter entities. Okay, so I guess we can test now. So if I work, if I work on the destination, nothing happens. And if I work on the teletransporter, let's see. Yay, it works. So you might notice that my hero is always facing north. 
when arriving on the destination, but you can configure that. It's actually a property of the destination itself. And the best for this kind of teletransporter would be to keep the same direction. You can choose between one of the four main directions or just uh, keep the direction unchanged. So, okay. And let's try again. Yeah, this feels more natural. Okay, good. So that was the first basic example of uh, teletransporter and destination. Now let's make a second one that will actually send the hero to a second map. Let's create a map. So right click, new map. And we'll call this outside one because, spoiler alert, I will need two maps. I will pick the tile set ocean set outside for this example and put some grass background and maybe uh, a stupid big wall not really pretty but <laughs> it's just for the example let's remove that let's move the wall like this and put some cave entrance on this wall boom okay so how to associate this entrance to this cave um, we will also need some door tiles here so you have some a lot of possible tiles in this tile set let's pick this door so this is just tiles right nothing special if you want something to happen you need teletransporters and destinations so we will reuse the default destination that was initially created and yeah we'll put it here next to the door and we will put a teletransporter we want to configure this teletransporter to lead to uh, that map which means that we, we better crea create the destination here and I recommend to always put some meaning meaningful names like here from first cave direction will be south or down as you want and no sprite for this destination I don't want to show anything in particular unlike the first example yes and I can put a teletransporter so this one has no sprite no sound transition will be fade in fade out so that's okay destination map first map and destination so I have the choice between destination and destination 2 so as you saw as you can see I'm not following my own advice no meaningful names but we will fix that uh, okay save back to the inside map this time I'm able to configure the state transporter because the destination exists on the other map and I saved that map so I can actually pick it outside the one I can see it here from first cave okay and as I was just explaining, this destination has a bad name, it's just called destination, so it's hard to distinguish between this one and some others that would be on the same map. So let's call this maybe from outside. And when you rename a destination, uh, you can keep this option checked, update existing teletransporters, and that will automatically reconfigure uh, any teletransporter on any other map or even the same map leading to this destination uh, yeah to point to the new name of that destination so back to outside one map if I check my teletransporter again you can see that 
it now leads to the from outside destination, even if I if it was renamed. Uh, the link was not lost during the rename. During the renaming. Okay. So let's see if it works. Good. So you, you can also say that some destination is the default for it for the current map. If you have multiple destinations, if it can be useful, because then it will allow the transporter to just instead of pointing to a specific destination, you can say uh, whatever the default is with that option. It can be useful if you want. Um, Okay, as a last example, I want to create very quickly a second map. Uh, it's also an outside map. And it's also looking ugly. But just to explain teletransporters, let's say that outside 2 is on the left of outside 1 and the wall continues like that. And we want the hero to scroll uh, when reaching the left part of this map. So you can create a teletransporter. And to make the hero correctly scroll, you want the teletransporter to be uh, just outside of the, of the map area. So not in the map, but outside. And when the hero touches the edge of the map, it will he will be uh, te teleported to the other map. If you configure your teletransporter uh, as follows, so you need to set the tr scrolling transition mode, and the destination should be side of the map. So here we are not selecting any destination entity. We are just uh, setting this special option, let's say. That means to scroll uh, to the side of the destination map. So let's say OK. Uh, and my destination map is wrong. I need to scroll to the other one side of the map. Okay. Same on the other side, so I can do some copy pasting. Outside one and side of the map. And OK. Let's see if my scrolling works as expected. Yeah, perfect. So I guess that's it. Um, usually, scrolling transition and side of the map are, uh, are working together. You could still do some fade in, fade out, fade out transitions, but and, and it will work. But uh, that's that's probably uh, not ideal. I mean, the, the scrolling transition looks really cool. It's also possible to do an immediate transition um, that will just. Yeah, uh, teletransport the hero immediately on the very next frame. It can be useful sometimes. But here I will let this teletransporter in a simple scrolling mode. Um, finally, there is also this same point special value. Uh, we'll see that later, but just so you know, it's, it will send the hero to the same coordinates of another map. So. An example, a typical example of this is in a dungeon with multiple floors. If each floor is implemented as a different map and you have some holes that send the hero to the, the lower floor, you can use this to just tell Solaris to put the hero in the same coordinates but on the, on, on the map below. But again, we'll see that in another tutorial. Uh, I think you have enough for this one. 
Um, I hope this was helpful. Something really cool with with this system of teletransporter and destination pairs is that coordinates, destination coordinates are not hard coded. So this teletransporter is just configured to be linked to the destination called from first cave of the other map. And if I decide uh, later to change my map slightly and for some reason uh, I want to move the entrance of the cave here. I just move the destination so I don't have to reconfigure my teletransporter to say hey uh, after all I don't want to teletransporter to to teletransport the hero to this coordinate but but to that coordinate. I just move the destination so it will automatically uh, send the hero to the new coordinates. So that's really uh, handy, I think. And just so you know, when you modify a map, you can just keep let the ga the game play, uh, keep the game playing, modify the map, save it. So my window was still running here, and if you go back to to that map, it will update. So let's let's do it again. If I move the door, let's say here. Okay, I leave the map and I come back. It just updates. So you don't have to restart the game every, every time you are debugging something, every time you have you are changing something on a map. You can just leave the map and come back. Uh yeah, so that's good to know. Okay, that's all I wanted to say about uh teletransporter basics. If you have any question, don't hesitate to join our Discord. We will be happy to help. And that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.